Hi everybody! Today we're going to be practicing subtracting fractions from a mixed number. So there's a couple of important things I want to talk about before we go into the video. Uh, sometimes, especially in the Common Core, they have many different strategies to solve a problem. And sometimes those strategies can be very helpful, sometimes they're confusing. So you may see directions that ask for directions uh, or certain strategies that say certain things like using the arrow way or decomposing the fraction or using a number bond. Um, today I'm going to focus on breaking apart a number using the number bonds because that's what we've been working on a lot with is those number bonds and that, what's, that strategy seems to be the most successful. So even if a direction asks you to solve a problem using say the arrow way, you don't have to. The point of math is to get to the right answer. So attempt that strategy. If it's not working for you, move to the margins, rewrite the problem, solve with the number bond, because the overall point is to find the right answer. Okay, so let's get started. So in this problem we have four and nine twelfths minus seven twelfths. So if we look, we always try to subtract whole numbers first and fractions later. So we have a whole number four, no whole number over here. So we're going to think of that as a zero. So four minus zero is four. And then we will subtract our fractions, nine twelfths minus seven twelfths. Nine twelfths minus seven twelfths. Remember when you add or subtract fractions with the same denominator, you only change the numerator. Okay, the top stays this, uh, or changes, the bottom is going to stay the same. So I know I'm working in twelfths, all I have to do is subtract the top. Nine minus seven is two. So our answer is four and two twelfths. Okay, our next problem says use decomposition to subtract the fractions. So I have to use decomposition to subtract fractions. Okay, so decomposition, that's going to be our number bond. Okay, if we look at this problem, we have four and one sixth minus four sixth. Now you can't take four sixth out of one sixth. Okay, you only have one. So we have to borrow from that whole number. So I'm going to change four sixths and one sixth. Okay, I'm gonna borrow from the four, so I'm gonna borrow, which means I'm gonna take one away to make it into a three. And I'm going to add my whole as a fraction, in this case it'd be six sixths, to that one sixth. So six sixths plus one sixth is seven sixths. So now when I go through, I have a whole number three and nothing over here. So three minus zero is three. And then I'm going to subtract my fractions. My new fraction is seven sixth minus four sixth. And I can subtract that, I get three sixth. So I use decompo decomposition by using my number bond to subtract the fractions. Okay. 